Welcome to African World, where we bring you the latest and most intriguing news from around the world. Today, we have a fascinating development coming from Burkina Faso, a country in West Africa. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up if you find this information as exciting as we do. Captain Traore seized power after a military coup in Burkina Faso in September last year and has been moving closer to Russia as the country's relationship with its former colonial power, France, grows strained. Since Russia's isolation from European markets due to its invasion of Ukraine, it has been actively seeking to strengthen ties with African nations. Modern society relies heavily on electricity for its proper functioning. Electricity is an essential component without which it cannot operate efficiently. The current leader of Burkina Faso, Ibrahim Traore, envisions taking his nation to new heights. To accomplish this ambitious goal, a dependable energy source is paramount for supplying power to homes and factories throughout the country. Such a reliable energy source will play a pivotal role in advancing the nation. Burkina Faso's Ministry of Energy has issued an official statement indicating a significant development on the horizon for the country, the introduction of a nuclear power plant. This landmark decision is poised to bring about a transformative shift for Burkina Faso. The primary objective of this nuclear facility is to address the energy requirements of the nation's growing population. The Memorandum of Understanding, MAO, was recently inked by Burkina Faso's Minister of Energy and Mines, Simon Pierre Bussum, and Nikolai Spassky, Deputy Director General of Rosatom. Rosatom, the Russian State Nuclear Energy Corporation, also chimed in, stating that the memorandum is the first document in the field of the peaceful use of atomic energy between Russia and Burkina Faso. According to the Moscow Times, this marks a significant milestone in their cooperation. Now, here's where it gets crucial. Burkina Faso is one of the least electrified countries in the world, with only 21% of its population currently connected to a power source. The Mao with Russia is a part of Burkina Faso's ambitious plan to achieve 95% electrical access to urban areas and 30% to rural areas by 2030. However, details about funding and construction timelines for the proposed nuclear plant are yet to be revealed. Ibrahim Traore appears to be on a promising path, demonstrating a strong commitment to advancing his country's development. The establishment of a dependable electricity source holds the potential to catalyze economic growth and provide more affordable power to the citizens. A nuclear power plant is a proven and dependable source of electricity, widely employed by countries such as Japan, France, Russia, and the United States, among others. Africa, rich in natural resources, possesses an abundant supply of materials necessary for meeting its energy demands. For instance, Niger boasts substantial uranium reserves, which have previously been sourced by France at relatively low cost. These uranium reserves could be harnessed to power Burkina Faso's nuclear facility, furthering the nation's energy independence and self-reliance. I'd like to hear your perspective on whether Burkina Faso should opt for a nuclear power plant as its primary source of electricity, or if you believe it's a less secure option that should be abandoned. That's all the exciting news we have for you today. If you found this update as fascinating as we did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on the latest news and updates from around the world. Thanks for joining us on African World, and we'll see you in the next video.